It can scale an 18-inch wall, claw its way up a 60% grade, wade through two feet of water, muck, or mud, and plow through three-foot snowdrifts. Impossible? For another vehicle, but not for Hummer. When General Motors launched the Hummer brand as a consumer-friendly military vehicle in the late 90s, one of its main features was its excess. It was big, it was brash, and it was bold. The H1 shared its roots with the military Humvee, but the H2 and H3 were badge-engineered SUVs designed to intimidate traffic out of the way. But they came out during a time when Hollywood was going green, and there was some backlash against the poor fuel economy delivered from these monsters, especially from the Prius-driving elite. Now for 2022, the Hummer nameplate is back. It's still big, brash, and bold. It's still designed to intimidate traffic out of the way. It's powerful, and it's heavy. And while it might be a GMC this time around, the Hummer is still a force to be reckoned with. This time, however, it's electric. We just got our first taste behind the wheel of the Hummer EV in Phoenix, and this vehicle is, well, it's something else. Today, we'll lay out all the critical specs, tell you what it was like to use crab mode while off-roading, and go all out in this beast using WTF. Plus, we'll tell you how it stacks up against what we think is its closest competition. But first, subscribe. Do it. You don't want to miss our upcoming reviews of the Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE plug-in or the F-150 Lightning, right? Right? That's what I thought. Oh yeah, and ding that bell or whatever. The Hummer EV is General Motors' first Ultium-powered consumer vehicle, which uses an advanced 800-volt architecture with a 205-kilowatt-hour battery pack and three electric motors. The result is 1,000 horsepower and 1,045 pound-feet of torque. GMC claims the Hummer EV can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3 seconds flat. We lined up with the truck set in its Watts to Freedom, or WTF mode, and launched the 9,000 pound plus pickup to 60 miles per hour in a GPS verified 3.36 seconds. That's quick. Considering we weren't on a great surface and using all-terrain tires with passengers, we can safely say that it's as quick as GMC says. Yeah, I know I look nonplussed in this video, but I'm just cool like that. It obviously feels quick. It's a kick in the back that doesn't let up because the truck doesn't change gears. It's fun, but it's not why this truck exists. From a more practical standpoint, two rear motors provide real torque vectoring and a front motor means the truck is all-wheel drive. Adjustable air suspension can lower the truck to a stanced launch mode or extend the Hummer to almost 16 inches of ground clearance for getting it out of high centered situations. GMC also included four wheel steering on the Hummer EV where the rear wheels can turn up to 10 degrees in either direction. In low speed situations, the rear turns opposite to the front to improve maneuverability. It improves highway stability by turning with the front wheels on the expressway. But the four-wheel steering can also accelerate at 1.2 times the speed of the front wheels. For instance, in this truck's terrain mode, the rear end can swing around quicker than the front, providing unprecedented maneuverability on a tight off-road trail. Where you would normally have to make a three-point turn in a Jeep Gladiator or a half-ton pickup, the Hummer just completes the turn. With the turning circle of a Chevrolet Sonic, it's not surprising. But what is impressive is just how seamless it is. When off-roading in a pickup truck, you often have to train your brain to take corners wide so you don't damage the truck. With the Hummer EV, you actually have to untrain your brain to do that. Sharp corners are dispatched with ease. It's almost as maneuverable as a Jeep Wrangler. After spending a day tackling some reasonably difficult trails north of the city, the only thing that holds the truck back while off-roading is the width. The four-wheel steering makes the truck easier to steer, but it doesn't magically make it smaller. At nearly 87 inches wide, it's a big boy. Because the Hummer EV has four-wheel steering, the GMC engineers decided it'd be fun to add a neat trick. At low speeds, the wheels will turn the same direction and allow the truck to walk like a crab down the road. They called it, you'll never guess, crab mode. Okay, maybe you did. Anyway, it's designed to make the truck even more maneuverable at low speeds. We readily admit it's a bit of a gimmick, but we did witness, when off-roading, where it was beneficial to have a truck turn its wheels in the same direction to get unstuck from soft berm along our trail. 
We didn't get to film it, unfortunately, but trust us, we saw an unplanned predicament where crab mode saved the truck from needing to be towed out by another rig. It made me a believer. With the truck's off-road credentials confirmed, what's it like to live with day to day? Let's be honest, potholes and rush hour traffic are going to be the Hummer's biggest obstacles most of the time. At highway speeds, there is some wind noise in the cabin. The roofs are removable, and our test truck was also equipped with roof rails and two spare tires in the bed. It's quieter at 80 miles an hour than a Jeep Wrangler hardtop, and way quieter than a Wrangler or Bronco softtop, but it's noisier than a completely closed cabin vehicle. With independent front and rear suspension, even on off-road tires, the Hummer EV drives confidently and easily. There's no need to worry about any dreaded death wobble that you might experience with a solid front axle. Some HD pickup trucks come to mind, as well as the Jeep Wrangler and Gladiator. Obviously, the acceleration is intoxicating and gets the cinder block shaped EV up to highway speeds effortlessly. If you need to overtake, mashing the go pedal puts your head back in the seat at any speed. The Altium platform on which the Hummer EV is based has tons of room inside, easily accommodating four full-size adults for extended periods of time. A 13.4-inch infotainment display helps control many of the functions of the Hummer EV while still using solid knobs and buttons for adjusting items like climate control. GMC licensed the Unreal Gaming Engine to build the graphics and interactive infotainment elements of the Hummer EV, and it shows in the responsiveness of both the touchscreen and associated apps along with the 12.3-inch instrument cluster display. When off-roading, that infotainment display can show one of the many camera views from around the truck, including one underneath the Hummer looking forward. It has a built-in wash function and can show you, in real time, if you're about to bottom it out on a complicated obstacle. GMC's new infotainment is based on Google's Android Automotive and has Google Maps built in. It can dynamically route drivers to a charging station when planning a navigation route, and it will even precondition the battery so it's ready to juice up at DC charging speeds. That said, we visited an Electrify America station in Phoenix and had a less than optimal experience. After a call to EA to get the station to work, we observed a 256 kilowatt charging speed. The truck should be able to do up to 350 kilowatts, and the station is advertised as a 350 kilowatt station. We arrived at 21% state of charge, and the battery was plenty warm. After some investigation, it turns out this station's hardware was a bit older and traditionally doesn't deliver a full 350 kilowatts. I mean, we're happy with the charge rate we got. It's faster than anything we've charged before except the push to take on. But we wanted to see more. We've seen photographic proof of a truck charging at 349 kilowatts, so we know it's possible. With a full battery, the GMC Hummer EV is expected to travel 329 miles. Because this is considered a heavy-duty truck because of its overall weight, there is no EPA range estimate. GMC claims that if you find a 350 kilowatt station that works, you can add 100 miles of usable range in 10 minutes. We'll test charging more thoroughly when we get the truck in for testing at home. Wrapping up our day, we got to sample GMC's Super Cruise. It debuted on Cadillac models and now is available on GMC's. It works as you'd expect, keeping you in your lane without your hands having to grip the steering wheel. It'll also automatically lane change if you want it to. Even when the Tesla is set up in its most aggressive lane changing mode, which the company calls Mad Max, we found Super Cruise to execute lane changes more quickly than the Tesla and didn't feel the urge to take over as often. Though, more testing will be needed. Sorry to anyone waiting with bated breath for this review to come out, but the Hummer EV Edition 1 is basically sold out. For those lucky few, it starts around $113,000 with delivery. If you missed out, we consider it an off-road toy that competes with the Ford F-150 Raptor and the Ram 1500 TRX. Yes, the Hummer is electric, but the buyers are likely similar. The Raptor starts at $70,000, and there are a ton of options that can easily get it into the $90,000 range. The Ram TRX has a higher base price than the Raptor at $78,675, but it does come with more performance from the factory. It's also easy to get a TRX configured to the 100K mark. The Edition 1 is the most expensive of these trucks by a wide margin. There will be less pricey trims in the coming years, but those aren't available yet and won't be in the near future, so they aren't worth listing in this comparison. Now, let's talk about bragging rights, starting with horsepower. Thanks to its turbocharged V6 engine mated to a 10-speed auto, the Raptor makes 450 horsepower. Meanwhile, the TRX sports a supercharged Hemi V8 and 8-speed auto that makes 700 horses. 
The Hummer leaves both of these desert runners in the proverbial dust, however. It delivers 1,000 horsepower thanks to its three electric motor setup and its direct drive, single speed transmission. While these trucks aren't for accelerating in a straight line, all three will do it competently. Ford doesn't state an official 0 to 60 estimate for its Raptor, but the folks at Motor Trend tested it with a 6 second time. The TRX does the same run in 4.5 seconds per claims from the manufacturer. Winning the day though is the Hummer with a claimed 0 to 60 time of 3 seconds dead. WTF indeed. The Hummer EV is GM's first all electric product on its future platform. It seems to deliver on all of its promises, and it should pave the way for more affordable and mass-produced electric vehicles, like an upcoming $30,000 Chevrolet Equinox. Until then, you can get in line for some less expensive Hummer EV models that will slowly roll out over the next year or so. After driving one, we also want to get in line. No, we don't expect Hummer to set any sales records for quite some time, but that's okay. We know all along, a Hummer is not for everyone. Will you be reserving a Hummer? Let's continue the discussion in the comments below. I want to see which version you want or find out what vehicle you're buying instead. For more on this behemoth, visit us at evpulse.com where you'll find news, reviews, and how-tos for everything electric. Thanks for watching.